Hello everyone, so it looks like I've been designing my front panels all backwards and making it very hard for myself and I want to show you I guess an easy way to design your front panels for any PCBs that you made uh, I'm going to be using Inkscape to do this which is a free software. Let's start off with what I used to do. So I have this PCB here, I've got a number of potentiometers, some switches and then I'll take measurements so I would measure the distance between say this switch and this potentiometer and then mark that out and I'll do the same these pots and I'll keep on going taking measurements and then I would put those measurements in into this um, page on Inkscape but there's an easier way to do it because you can imagine how tedious that could be so if I go back into my circuit get rid of that and if I and if I print and save the PDF now you gotta make sure that it's a scale factor of one so it's one to one we'll save a copy of that we'll call it drone and so now we've got a copy of this saved we'll go back into Inkscape and the first thing you need to do is import that. So we'll import that image and I called it drone. So this one here, it will ask you about some details here. Just hit OK. You don't have to change anything. It does take a little bit of time. Okay. So now we have the imported PDF uh, design of the circuit. It's a little slow when you do this. So you just have to be a bit patient, but we can drag that onto the page and start to add in um, some markers for these pots and switches. So we'll get a little circle design, we'll reduce the size and just make it a little larger. And what we'll do is we'll put a little marker in there so I know exactly where the center is. So now we've got our first marker. We'll move this to the first switch. Enlarge it as much as you possibly can. And we can move this now exactly in the center. There we go. So that first switch now has a marker. I'll keep on adding the little markers for the rest of the potentiometers, which there's 12 of. Um, usually something, something like this, I'd create a little dial face for each of these, but the potentiometers are quite close together and it doesn't really need dial faces. Uh, if you are interested in knowing how to create dial faces and adding an extension, I've actually done a YouTube clip on that as well. So. It's quite easy to do. I'll put a link in the description to this. So we'll copy one, go across to the next potentiometer and drop that in. Just make sure it's lined up. Move it across one. It's pretty good. Copy again. And then Drop that in, make sure it's lined up. It's pretty good. And just keep on going. The size of these squares is 0.1 mil. So that, it's, even though it's not exactly on the square there, I mean, you're talking half a 0.1 of a mil. So it's literally nothing. So you can even mount, uh, mark out your mounting holes. So I made a little cross here. I'll just group this. And we can drag those, the little cross into the mounting hole. Center it. Just make it slightly smaller. So I'm going to copy the cross. And we'll go down to the next mounting hole and add it. It's 
center it. I'm going to mark out the LEDs as well. <clears throat> it's not um, necessary because I'm using a clear acrylic for the panel. But if I mark them out, I know exactly where they are. And it will help when I'm designing it. So we'll mark those out, each one of those, we'll copy that across, hit the cross, hit the cross again. Okay, I'll keep on adding those little LED markers and then we can remove the front, the uh, PCB um, outline and then we can start designing the front panel. So now I've marked out all the main features of the PCB. So I've got the potentiometers marked out, the switches, I've got the LEDs marked, I've got the mounting holes done, and I think that's it. So what we can do now is remove the background, and now we have everything marked out for designing the PCB, and everything's exactly where it needs to be. So there's no measurements needed, there's no Offset measurements need to be done. There's nothing needs to be done. Now I've just got the basic design. I can start designing the actual panel itself. Pretty much the design. I'm happy with that. Now the next thing to do is just to make sure that it actually does fit uh, perfectly on the PCB is you can print this out on some like clear plastic. Um, I bought a, bought a bunch of this and you can print it out put it against the PCB which I'll do now and uh, see if it fits. So I printed off the PCB just on some paper and then I printed off the front panel on some clear um, plastic. And what we can do is just to make sure that everything lines up, lay it on there and hopefully you can see that, that everything, all those pots, switches all line up well. The mounting holes are slightly off, we could fix that though, but the main things which need to be lined up, which are the pots and the switch, all line up perfectly. So this is a really great way of uh, aligning your PCBs up to a, a front panel, um, and all you do is you print this front panel onto some um, clear adhesive, you print it up, print it off, and then you can just stick it on um, some opal acrylic or whatever color acrylic you want and you're away. So I hope you uh, found this interesting and hopefully you learned something from it because I certainly did. Uh, thanks for watching and um, yeah, keep on making.